Thailand's baht has been on a roll lately, up 11 percent against the U.S. dollar, and that has Thai economic officials worried, since it means exports are getting more expensive and exports make up more than half the country's GDP. The government's already trying to make it more expensive for foreigners to invest there, and the Bank of Thailand may soon introduce more measures to curb inflows. Joining us with more perspective is Thailand's finance, finance minister, Korn Chattakivanij. Um, minister Korn, thank you for coming on the program. Uh, coming off these meetings in South Korea at the G20, currencies were front and center. Were you satisfied with what came out of that meeting? I think, uh, to be honest, uh, expectations were, were not that high. Uh, the fact that it was uh, a centerpiece for the, the dialogue, I think, is good news. Uh, the fact that there were some intelligent proposals being put on the table, especially by Timothy Geithner, I think is excellent news. And, um, and I think uh, overall we can all be satisfied with progress to date. Well, progress, yet we aren't seeing the kind of uh, cooling off that, that some would hope uh, in a country like yours, right? When you're looking at uh, your currency, we just explained what was going on with the bot. Are, are you yes. considering more uh, capital controls to try to cool off your currency? Actually, uh, to use the word more is probably not, not ref a reflection of what has taken place so far because we, we haven't really... Um, exercise any capital control, imposing intervention capital in some control form. so far. Yeah, but um, uh, broadly speaking, I think we acknowledge the fact that given that we have a, an economy uh, that has a strong current account surplus, um, high growth rates, low inflation rates, our currency is naturally going to appreciate, and there's no problem with that. We all need to adjust to uh, the reality on the ground. What is problematic from time to time is the volatility that's caused by excessive short-term uh, speculation. And so far, there has been quite a substantial increase in foreign ownership of uh, government, local government bonds. So we're keeping an eye on that to see whether that distorts uh, short-term uh, market, which could have a negative impact on our real economy. Uh, whenever we're talking about uh, the currency front, we also look at U.S. dollar weakness and the expectation that perhaps next week we might see the Federal Reserve in this country take more action to stimulate the economy yes. here. But the, the bottom line is that uh, that money doesn't stay within these borders. There is a global impact and perhaps uh, that might make the situation a, a little bit harder for a country like yours. Um, are you concerned yes. about money inflows there and perhaps a creation of bubbles within Thailand? Um, we are concerned about inflows, and, um, but the reality is that this will continue for, for some time. There's an obvious need for the U.S. economy uh, to be stimulated, and using monetary policy is, is a tool uh, that is open uh, to the U.S. authorities. The impact on economies such as ours, though, which is open economy, um, will, will be something that we will need to adjust to. What we are seeking is an agreement for basically orderly, uh, rebalancing uh, of the global currencies so that economies such as ours will have some time to make the adjustments that we, we need to make. And we understand that we all need to make that adjustment. How has um, the experience that your country had going through the Asian financial crisis really informed how you approach and how serious attention you pay to currency fluctuations? A couple of things that we learned from that crisis. Uh, the first thing is that um, the strength of the financial system is, is critical. So you, you see that uh, Asian banks uh, faced no problem at all came this most recent crisis because we'd learned from that particular lesson. The second obvious lesson uh, was that our currency immediately adjusted mm -hmm. subsequent to the financial crisis in 1997. Basically, it weakened by half. That allowed our uh, industry uh, to adjust by becoming exporters and we exported ourselves out of that particular crisis um, to the level that we are today. So I expect that the Western economies um, will also want to see a continued weakness of that currency in order for them to be able to export their way out of their current economic malaise. That's normal, expected, and as I said, uh, time for orderly adjustment by all is required. In looking in your neighborhood here, I mean, on the currency front, the other big conversation is, is what's happening in China and their appreciation of the yuan, yeah. perhaps not happening as quickly as those in the United States and, and in Europe yeah. would like. 
Are you privy to some of those those conversations? I mean, having gone through an experience like you did with the financial crisis, would you worry if you, you know, were in the position you are in China and being pushed to allow your currency to appreciate more rapidly? I, I think so, um, and quite rightly, I think the Chinese authorities are concentrating on domestic adjustments. We're already seeing uh, domestic consumption in China growing by almost 20% this year so far against last year. So adjustment is taking place. Um, what is re the Are reality Are you satisfied with that level the, of adjustment? I think we, we have to give China time, to be honest, because what we have to also accept is the fact that the strength of the Chinese economy overall has been a huge benefit to the world economy during the past year. And what they need to do in order to retain that strength is something that we need to be sympathetic to. Uh, but what we're seeing so far is the country moving, I believe, in the right direction. Uh, we obviously want to see China adjust, and I think in the long term it will be of benefit to both China and everybody else as well. All right. Minister Corn, I appreciate your time uh, joining us uh, from London. Thank you, Margaret. This afternoon at uh, local time.